everyone and welcome back to Emping Gardening. Today we're going to be making two flower bouquets out of our summer blooming flowers. We're super excited. We couldn't pick on just one color scheme, so we're going to do two different ones. Um, we're using two very different style vessels as well. One is a tin, more um, very silvery and shiny oval shape and oh that made noise and the other one is actually a bunt cake holder but that's okay it's gonna work perfectly as a vessel we already went out and um, harvested all of the flowers that we're going to be using we just used uh, our like spaghetti sauce pasta pots, filled it with lukewarm water, cut all of the flowers and immediately put them in the water. Um, and we're gonna be showing you how we put together these arrangements. What you're gonna want is your vessels. It could be anything you want. You can be super creative with the type of vessels that you use. It doesn't have to just be a vase. Um, there's a lot of different things that you can play around with bowls, um, really anything really fancy pots or kind of more rustic things uh, so you want a vessel there's also different ways that you can put the flowers in um, you can use the floral foam that green um, foam you can put that in your vessel as your frog and that way you can just stick um, the flowers right in there you can use like floral tape and make a grid and that way you can stick them in the places and it'll offer like support and structure. We're going to use chicken wire for ours. So what we're going to do is take just a little bit of sheet of chicken wire. We're going to kind of mold it into the vessels that we're using and we're going to use chicken wire as our frog. Um, what I like about this chicken wire, I got it off of Amazon. It came with wire cutting gloves and the wire cutters. So we'll link this down below for you guys. Uh, really handy to just have everything come all together and you're good to go. So we're going to cut these sheets, put them in our vessels for our frog, and then show you what we do with the water. I thought it was going to be. Um, some tips and tricks. When you take out the gloves and the wires, um, there's in the middle, there's the saran wrap to start it. Find that start piece and then you can start unwrapping it. Other tips and tricks. Um, Ryan was a very good helper. You don't have to have somebody there. If you have something heavy that you can put on um, that other side while you're cutting just to weigh it down because it's super tightly um, rolled so to have that weight so you can cut the wire cutters worked really well and these were a lifesaver um, it would have been really difficult to do that without protective gloves so super happy that they came with protective gloves and a wire cutter um, one last tip and trick with that is when you are unwrapping it really hold it tight with the other hand um, just be, um, you know physics when you're really tight and you're finally getting unwound you pop hold it really tight so that doesn't happen so to mold the frog into the vessel we really just took it and kind of folded it in and tucked in the sides to make sure 
that it fit. That way when you put the flower in, it'll go through the little holes of the chicken wire and it'll create a really strong structure. We did the same thing for the big um, oval tin one. Um, this one has a little bit more space, but once all of the flour is in, it's gonna hold it nice and strong. Okay, so when you're considering what water to put in, it's super important to make sure that your vessels have already been cleaned really well so that no bacteria um, will start getting onto the plants once you put them freshly in there. It's also a really good idea to have some uh, flower preserver in the water that you are putting in. This is also, again, lukewarm water. Uh, it just kind of doesn't shock the plants as bad as like, ice cold water would be, but you can put some flower preserver inside the water, mix it up, make sure it's nice and good. Mine is mixed, oh no, just the reflection. Um, so that it really just jump starts the flowers and makes sure that they stay nice and healthy in the vessel. We will link down these um, in the description below. They do come with flowers that you can buy at the grocery store, uh, but you can also just go on Amazon and order like packs of them, um, which is what we suggest. So we'll put these down below for you. All right, so now we're going to pour the water in and start arranging. When you're thinking about arranging, how to arrange your bouquets, um, you can start with the uh, formal structure of the bouquet. So typically like some evergreens and then start adding your bold flowers and then some of the little, littler ones around you, some fluff and really fill it in. But really starting with that evergreen structure is going to just form the basis of how you're going to arrange your bouquet. You can do it in a bunch of different ways, um, more like symmetrical, or you can do like an A-line, you can do like a pattern, you can do a low to high, however you wanna do it. It also depends on if your bouquet is gonna be up against a wall. You might wanna arrange it differently so all of it's showing out, or if it's going in the centerpiece somewhere, and that way you wanna make sure that there's interest all the way around the arrangement. So it's really up to you on how you do it. The only thing that we really, really, really recommend is when you are um, putting your flowers in, you want to make sure that all of the leaves are not touching the water. This will deter any type of bacterial growth from happening. So just the bloom, um, is on top or some of the top leaves you can keep as well if you know that they're not going to be touching um, the water like that. And the other thing that you're going to want to do is cut your flowers at a slant when you put them in. That way they get the nice clean cut and the water can go straight up into the flower. So make sure you remove all of those um, leaves, the top leaves that you don't want um, to kind of fester in the water. Uh, you can leave some of the tippy top ones if you want. If not, cut them all, get them all off, and then just do that slant. And I think that's good. Ryan and I are going to start arranging this and uh, hopefully we like the outcome of what happens. Okay, here we go.
Alright everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this brings you inspiration. Um, they were both done quite differently. This is kind of more of a free and airy type of feel, ethereal, with um, like a walk around view so you can see the the blooms on all of the sides, whereas this one's going to be living right here. So we did more of a backed up, low to high type of feel. Um, two very different color schemes, purple blues, um, pinks, and then more of like the orange, red, yellows, whites for this one. Um, remember when you're doing any type of bouquets that you're just taking your time, be patient, and let your creative um, juices kind of flow on how you like it. But I hope that you really liked this video and it gave inspiration and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.